Good morning, this is Dwayne, and today I'd like to talk a little more about secondary chords and then get on to another chord progression that's used a great deal. Uh, if we define the primary chords as the family of chords, in any given key there's a family of chords. There's three chords that are played more than any others. Let's say we're in the key of G, and here's the scale of G. In the key of G, the one chord is used the most, the four chord is used the most, and the five chord is used the most. Those three chords, one, four, and five. And the reason that is, is because those are the only major chords in that key. They're indigenous to that key. If we're in the key of F, the one chord is F, the four chord is B flat, and the five chord is C. We've been through that material a lot, okay? So we know the primary chords. Now, the secondary chords are like cousins to the family. They're not the fam, but they're cousins, and so they show up quite a bit too. They're a lot more likely to show up than strangers, okay? Uh, it's possible that anybody could show up at my house, but probably, you know, after my family would probably be some of my cousins, and that probably is true of you as well. So, uh, in addition to the primary chords, there's three secondary chords. So, the, if let's look at the key of C, it's a little easier to see. Uh, in the key of C, the primary chords are 1, 4, and 5, okay? The secondary chords are 2, 6, and 3. And last time we took up the chord progression 2, 5, 1, very common. And notice that, <clears throat> notice too that that chord progression wants to move up by fourths. In other words, D minor is a fourth below G, which is a fourth below C. So what we're really doing is going around that circle. We covered the circle of fifths, the circle of fourths. Same, uh, same circle, it just depends on which way you go. But anyway, you go up a fourth and then another fourth. That's the way chords want to move. The D chord, any kind of D chord, wants to move to, to G, and any kind of G chord wants to move to C. Doesn't mean it has to, a composer can do anything he wants, but for the most part they do, because that's the way they, there's a gravity to it, they, they, or magnetism, they get pulled towards the next chord. That's just the way uh, music was made. So, in addition to the, to the two chord, Another, another cousin is the three chord. So in the key of uh, C, that would be A minor. And another cousin is the, uh, the E chord, okay? E minor chord. So let's focus on the six chord today because there's a lot of progressions. Uh, uh, there's a chord progression that goes like this. Six, two, five, one. And the reason it does that is because of that coming up the fourth. From the six, Context. You've heard that. Six, two, five, one, six, six, two, five, songs okay so that's one of, that's probably the fourth or fifth most likely chord progression that happens in music it happens a lot and so I just want you to be prepared for it six two five one so let's look at it in some other keys it's easy to key in the C in the key of C and that's what we were just playing but let's take it say in the key of F okay so here's the F scale one two three four five six seven and the octave note okay the one chord is there, the four chord is there, the five chord is there. Where is the two chord? G minor. Where is the six chord? One, two, three, four, five, six. D minor. So six to two to five to one in the key of uh, F would be six, two, five, one. Six, two, five, one. Yeah. Okay. And in the key of G, what's the six chord? One, two, three, four, five, six. It would be E minor to A to D to G. Six. Six, two, five, one. Okay. In the key of E flat, one, two, three, four, five, six. Be six. It's usually minor, yes, yeah, always minor. Then five, one, okay. So I'd like you to 
think that through that uh, progression in each key, or at least the keys that you use the most, okay? Because it happens a lot. And we're going to build on it next time when we get into the blue moon chord progression, which is uh, a complete cycle of one, six, two, five. So we've been working up to that. We took two, five, one, and then we took six, two, five, one. And next time we're going to do one, six, sort of thing. Okay, that's it for today, and tomorrow we'll take up the Blue Moon chord progression, so see you then. Bye.